Archangels, Archangel Jeremiah, everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. What else have we got for a times? Look at my banana tree. It's getting a baby, you know. My banana, my banana tree had a baby. I'll show you guys. Spiritual understanding. Archangel Raziel, I am bringing you aesthetic information and symbols and helping you to understand their spiritual side. Hi, Breezy. On the bottom of the deck, you got divine order. Archangel Ariel, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and the underlayer order. So look past everything that's going on right now and see beyond that. A banana. Ben Want to see it? All right, turn the light on. Yeah. <coughs> I'll see if I can bring it. It's not that heavy. You see the baby? The baby's almost as big as the mommy. Look at that. I did pull off some um, some dry leaves yesterday because um because they're kind of holding. They're not getting enough shade, so I just pull them out like this. They're having too much shade. I want the tree to get but like taller. I want the tree to get taller. And then uh, I'll replant it. I'll, I'll see if I can show you like right up against the node. See it? There it is. I had this tree for one year now and it has a baby already one year. I think this tree is going to get bananas. I totally believe it. I got it from a, a greenhouse around here that trees. So we won't even need bananas from another country anymore soon because we're growing them in our greenhouses over here. We're doing the greenhouse thing. That's so beautiful. Did you know that uh, did you know that you can actually make uh, tamales? I don't know if you know what tamales are, but they're like a Mexican uh, food and you can uh, wrap tamales in this instead of corn husk. Your plants hate you. Well, then just love them more. You know, plants, they do, they do, if you have a really dry spot, like if you have a dry area and in your house, if your house is really dry, your plants need a lot of water. So you got to, like some plants, you got to check them every day. Some plants, you got to check them every other day. And that's the problem with people. People think they can only, they only have to water their plant like once a week. But, um. Yeah, you don't just water them once a week. You water them when I, and, and banana trees, they like a lot of, uh, I'm going to have to add a little more dirt to her too. But uh, they love a lot of water. They like to be really like saturated in water. And they also like to be spritzed. Like these, these plants, like all the tropical plants, they like to be spritzed with water. But yeah, when I, when I get more motivated, I uh, will... I will plant, replant this baby. Thank you, Breezy, for your love and prayers. Thank you, Breezy. Would you like a card? Would you like an angel message today? Oh, yeah. Coffee. My, oh, yeah. I did get my coffee already. I had forgotten I got a coffee.
Oh, look at that. I have curls. I have curls with the heat, you know. I gotta take my doggy out again. I gotta get dressed, though. And I was gonna come on yesterday, and then I was in my bathing suit, and I was so white, and I didn't want to come on in my bathing suit. And that is what's gonna happen this summer a lot. I'm gonna come on in my bathing suit on here a lot because that's all I wear in the summertime. So, um, I still look really white. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a little bit of color on me before. In a minute, honey. Okay? In a minute. Just give me a minute. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Oh, she so wanted to say hi too, everybody. Say good morning. You feel sick? Well, thank you. You being here, you being here is just helping, okay? And I'm sorry if you're feeling sick and I'm. Sorry, don't, don't, like, if you're an empath, don't, like, let this energy affect you, okay? Let it go out your door, because you can't do anything about it, you know? That's the thing about when we can't do anything about it is we're supposed to just let it go, but I can't, like, I can't, you know, me, I can't let go of this energy right now, because I have to, like, figure things out. I have to, like, I am very antsy. I'm very antsy, but I want to move to a place where I feel good. Where God is still welcome, you know. Here in county, never been very godly people. Here in county, when you believe in God, you're crazy in this town. Like, that's how people treat you because they're a rock, rocker town, like, you know, like drinking, partying. Um, junkies, a lot of junkies in this town. Yes, they're people with problems, but oh my God. all they do is drag you down. So I got to get out of here. I just want to be away from all kinds of people, you know what I mean? I just want to be in nature. And a little spot in the woods would be beautiful. But you can't rent a spot in the woods. You can't just go and rent a spot in the woods from someone. I wish that would work. All these people that have this beautiful land with beautiful trees on it that never do anything about it. Beautiful land, beautiful wild land people have. And they do nothing with it. And they could rent it out to people. People, so many people. Hi, Patsy. So many people want to live in nature. And that's what they need, is what I need. It's not that I just want. It's not a want for me. It's a need. I need to be around green stuff, nature, birds, trees. <laughs> yeah, the door is open. I started it and it was very scary, but I did. I gave my notice. I just hope I find a place that is is big enough for me and my boys. Because I still want a place for all my stuff, right? You know? And, and my boys. They still have to have a place to live. Would you like a message, Patsy? I'm reading angel messages today because we need the angels today. Breezy just came, said hi, and wished me well, and she left. She must have been busy. Thank you, Bright Bite Size. And yeah, I got my message from one of my angels. It is beautiful. All right, this message is for Patsy Reynolds. Oh, you got two. <laughs> well, I always do. I always do read three. Okay, Patsy, you got clear, crystal clear intentions. Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire. And focus up on it with unwavering faith. Like, you know, go after it, even if you're scared. 
like I am right now. I'm scared to go forward. I'm scared to, you know, do all that. Anyways. Just have good intentions. And that's what I always try to do is just have good intentions. Whatever, whatever you desire, make sure that it's, it's good intentions. Creative writing, Archangel Gabrielle, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pin it in an article or write a book. So maybe you've been thinking of doing something, whether it's writing a book, whether it's, um, you know, start writing a diary or start writing your thoughts down um, uh, or even... Uh, what I feel for you, even like maybe, you know, for some, like, I don't know, some people might want to, if this card comes up, you know, creative writing, it could be anything, right? Really anything, something you've been really, uh, really passionate about, go after it. And, uh, you know, like, I'll just give you another example. Like for me, like, I'm not going to ever probably write a book. But I may, someone, someone may write a book about my life one day once I tell my story. But for me, I'm going to do cards. I'm going to put my story in, in cards. So that's what I'm going to do once I have a peaceful area to do studying and to do all that stuff. That's what I need. I'm like, a you know, like writer's block right now. Like I... I need to be out in my environment, the proper environment for me to flourish. I need to be in a different environment. Apartment has never been in my environment. I'm not an apartment person. Yeah, so once I get out of this, like, feeling, and I've tried, believe me, for the last three years, I've tried to make this place feel more like nature by getting a lot of house plants and all that. And there's not nothing compares to nature. Nothing compares to really being out there. Like that one picnic with my dog was like so awesome. And I actually should go do that today. Just go out there. Cause I really need it today. Really need to take my, like my shoes off and just walk in grass and walk in dirt and, Get connected, ground it, get grounded, and ground myself so I don't, I'm not so emotional, you know. Um, I don't like why my emotions overflow, you know. Yeah. In the bottom of the deck, you got passion. Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and in your career. I think. Somebody have gotten this message before, or well, all of these messages, somebody's gotten them before, but I feel like it was you maybe too at one time. That's what I got for you, Patsy. Chakra, whoever this may resonate to, I just felt like you needed to read this. The chakra clearing. So, yeah, work on our chakras, work on balancing our body, mind, and spirit and stuff, and all the other elements that we carry. Call up on... Archangel Metatroid and to clear up, to clear and open your chakras using uh, geometric shapes. So you can use shapes, colors, fruit, um, all kinds of ways. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. But yeah, so if anybody lost a little pendant, let me know. Then I'll give it back to you because it doesn't belong to me. Just the message did. That's all. That's all I care about is that the message that came through. And that's what I, that's how I get messages. You know, I find things. That's how I get messages. So if this belongs to anyone, let me know. Anybody in my building, let me know. Because probably from somebody in my building or somebody that visited my building. Hi, Peter Jackson. How you doing? Uh, things are bad, and, you know, it's just sad. Thank you so much for coming, Peter Jackson. I remember you. I just wish you would have never pretended to be someone else, you know? Yeah. 
because when people pretend to be someone else, I call them out on their bullshit. So I know you came on my, you came, uh, you, uh, you pretended to be Dr. Dr. Oz, remember? And, and Dr. Oz is one of those people that I followed for years. Hi, Zoe. I followed Dr. Oz for years and I really, really like respect him as a man. So don't ever pretend to be someone you're not. I'll respect you if you're just being you. And I know you're not him. <laughs> hi, bye to, hi, my Zoe girl. How you doing? I was crying, yeah, because I feel a little lost. <laughs> Aw. I love you guys too. I'm just a little bit, a little bit emotional today. A little sad, a little angry, a little worried and a little sad, right? Just a little sad. It's really mixed emotions because I do got to get out of here. And what's meant for me, I know will always be for me. And nobody can ever do anything about it. And I have tried to reason with the landlord, the landlord today. For the first time, I talked to the real landlord. He was not very nice either. And not a very godly person either. And... I just hope that the right ones will come along. When Do you want a message, Zoe? I got my angel cards out today. I thought this would be a good day to pull angel messages because this is a day where I really need it and need angel messages. And so I pulled for myself already. And I'm pulling a message for everyone in here. Peter Jackson, if you want a message, I can give you a message from angels too. And they're archangels, they're God's angels, you know. All right, Zoe, let's shuffle this deck a little bit. I want to get a card that I probably have never seen. And I, you know what? I've seen all these cards. I have, I have looked at all of them, I think. I've read them all. <coughs> I would like to get the, if there is a book for these, I would like to get the book for them. I don't have the book for them. All I have is the mini messages on there. So if anybody out there that has a book or extra book or whatever, I would love to have it. <laughs> I don't know if you can buy the extra books for it. All right, message for Zoe. Oh, you got a few, darling. <laughs> and you are showing your sensitivity. Aw, you're a sweetheart today. You're, being, you're always a sweetheart. You always, every time you come into my live stream you're always so sweet and every time i go into your live stream you're always so sweet and happy sensitivity archangel haniel you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now honor yourself and your feelings okay so if i made you cry today just keep crying okay let it out <laughs> if i set you off let it out i'm sorry if i set anybody off okay but I do, I get set off too. When other people cry, I get set off too. So <laughs> take back your power. And you're Gemini. Maybe a lot of Geminis are feeling a little bit overwhelmed today, maybe. Because uh, you got the same card as I got, this one. Take back your power, Archangel Zadical, uh, Raziel. Use your God-given power and intentions to manifest blessings in your life. Use your positive intentions to manifest blessings in your life. Hello from heaven. Archangel Ariel, your, an your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of the worries and, and feel their loving energy and blessings. You got a few cards, girl. Breathe. <laughs> Maybe you need to go out and meditate too and go out and get some fresh air today. It says, breathe, Archangel Raphael. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy fully and release, release old patterns. 
it's like if we don't want to keep going through the same revolving door, we just have to like sometimes stop. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking a breath by coming on here. You know, stop, take a deep breath, take inhale. And exhale slowly, right? We never do that enough. We never take deep breaths enough. Like sometimes I, I was like, oh, I need a deep breath. So I have to take a deep breath. But we, we should do that before we need it, you know? Because we do, Gemini especially are so, so quick. And they, they like to think, they like to think quick, do think, do things quick. And if things don't work quick, it really frustrates Gemini's. So that's probably what my frustrations is, is that if I just get it done, then all those problems will be gone. But there's only so fast you can get it done. Like, like a, you know, so relationship harmony, Archangel Rahul, be, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved. Angel therapy. Look at that. Bob and Zach, you got angel therapy. <laughs> we are both getting angel therapy today. Archangel, Archangel Raphael, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us angels to take your burden. That's a beautiful message for you, Zoe. You got quite a few. So, who you know, anybody can, you know, have these messages. You know, if I read for one person, if it resonates with the next person, then take that message as yours too. You know, that's why we're on here to share with me. Let's see if there's good news coming in. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Good news. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I got a runny nose again. My runny nose is from crying, though. It's not from anything else. <laughs> I wonder who she's praying to. She says she prays for me. You know, okay, so I, I sent the landlady a message, right? I sent her a message as... as asking her i say please pray for both of us because she's always fighting with me i say please pray for both of us right for the best outcome for everyone and this situation that she got us in you know this is and i said that because she started this three years ago by spying on me and walking into my home after i already had all my furniture in here Things went missing. I never said anything about that. And, you know, she says she has actually prayed for me often. Well, the one thing she forgot to do is pray for herself. Listen to that. Maybe the reason that hasn't worked yet is because you only prayed for me. You didn't pray for everyone involved, including yourself. There, I said it. I don't care if she goes to church. She needs to know what is right. Churches don't teach you everything. All right, loves. Thank you for being here. You were the first one here. Thank you for hanging out with me. All right, I'm probably going to get off of here. I just want to come on here for a moment and kind of share what i'm feeling so like if anybody else is feeling like that out there you know come talk to me and and uh, i don't have a problem with anybody crying on my shoulder i i don't mind that at all 29 31 and 32. Casla, please take the 29 from your angel cards that message is for you. There's no numbers on these ones, hon. I have other angel cards. I have angels of abundance. You want me to get those ones out, Kat? I mean, Zoe?
Uh, 32 is my ex-boyfriend's uh, age. 31 is when, 29 is when I met him. When he was 29 is when I met him. 31 is when we split up. And now he's 32. Wow. I'm getting things out of those messages even without you without me looking at the card. Let's look at the cards because I don't, these ones don't have, um, these ones don't have uh, numbers on them. These ones don't have numbers on them. <clears throat> this one here has the smaller amount. I think it's like 52 or something or whatever. I don't know. Should we count them? Actually, it should say that on the box, right? No, it don't. Okay, well, let me get my other cards out. Um, Peter Jackson, um, I don't know what angels are around you. And I don't even know what you call God or anything. So, uh, um, I only want your, I only want your angels help if they're of the highest good of all. That's all the same. Some people, um, uh, I don't, I don't have, I, I, you know, I believe in angels of like God's angels, like, you know, the archangels. So if it's any of the archangels, then thank you for that. Okay, let me get my deck out, honey. See, these are the only other angel messages that I do have. Caption. Oh, well, hi, Captain Jack. How are you doing? You're a Gemini. Yeah, I remember that. That doesn't mean nothing, Peter. I don't know your intentions. I've never met you. I don't know your intentions, right? All right. Okay, let's see on the book. I have to get in the book and to see what the where the numbers are. Okay, so you said... So if, if it's the... One unit, 52. So these cards are, I think 52. Why wouldn't it say the number of cards on there? Anyways, these are my only other angel messages. So let's pick from these ones then. Ah, so that's what you're doing, eh? Emails and yeah, those those are very hard. Like you know, that's a very um, it's a very uh, what a uh, tedious job for me. Paperwork is tedious like that. All right, so card number, I will read you a message, Captain Jack, if you would like a message. I just uh, we're just kind of doing something right now. All right, so card 29, 31, and 32. 29, 31, 32. 29. If there is a 29 on here, I'll just go page 29. Let's see. Okay, so page 29, I'll read the message for you that's on this page, not like on the card, but on this page. So it would be card number, 
Okay. So the card that would have been on page 29 starts on 27. Okay. So I'm only going to read the message that was on page 29. Okay, Zoe? So when you choose to invest in clean food, it will, it will clearly add to your abundance. Because your health productive productivity and problem solving will improve you will spend fewer days ill experiencing a shorter shorter recovery period from excess from ex, excessive or exercises and be able to think through any obstacle you encounter <laughs> with your work. Oh my goodness. Wow, Zoe. Wow. Sorry, I'm yelling. Wow. All right, 31. 31 and 32. All right. Are you here, Zoe? I'm well trying to catch up with somebody in the home. Yeah, I have some paperwork to do. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay, thirty one. Okay, so so I'm going to read 31, okay? When you ask your angels for abundance, for an easy and effective met met method by which you pray, you pay off debt they pass due that are passed due on the following technicals and, and calculating a total amount and you are paying per month all, for all your debts continue paying this amount so basically put all your debts into one I don't really have any debts other than just trying to get my trailer to go there and I don't have the money to do that the secret is you never pay Pay less per month than you are right now. And you can pay the same amount to a similar pool of leaders that will... I don't get this card. Clearing debts. Like, I don't really have debts. All right. So, I don't know. Like, these cards don't have numbers either. Like, there's... I don't know if there's angels messages out there with number oh i have an angel tarot anyways let's do the next one let's do the next card did i do 29 i didn't do 29 yes i did 29 right yeah i did 31 32 Maybe you need to go on, Zoe. Maybe you need to go on and like do it for me. 32. Let's see what 32 says. Oh, it's the same card. All right. Let's just shuffle them and see what comes out, okay? Let's shuffle the cards. What are these numbers meaning? 29, 31, and 32. That Zoe's trying to help me with. What are the numbers meaning? You will get there too. So why are you? Who who's laughing? Peter Jackson. What do you mean? Keep laughing. What are you talking about? Who are you? Who are you really? 
Are you a catfisher? Anyways. All right, let's see. What is what does the message 29 mean from Zoe for me? Obstacles and obstacles and blocks are lifted. All of your good personal work and your positive energy shifts have overcome pre previous obstacles and blockages are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with the, your projects, stakes, centered, and gratitude to ensure that your full abundance continues. Twenty nine was the same as thirty one because you know the the cards go move over to the next. But none of these cards have numbers. But I do have an angel. I was after this. I was gonna get my angel tarot out and see if there's numbers that come out in that one. All right. Let's see what the next number is. The next number was thirty one. So for twenty nine, I got obstacles and blockages are being lifted. All right. Let's see for thirty one. That's thirty one. What's 32? What's 32? All right. Oh, we got three purple cards. You know, purple is like divine color, right, Zoe? So we got uh, take divinely guided changes. Oh, see, changes are coming up and I feel them. All positive changes and excess ventures involve a degree of risk. You are ready to follow your divine guidance and new territories as you leave behind that in which is comfortable and familiar but is no longer appreciated for you. You make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. Beautiful. That message resonates. And the next message you got, I will show you all the cards, Zoe. Unlimited ideas. Your mind is one with God. An infinite mind, an in, infinite mind, therefore you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring you blessings. All you need to do is ask the divinely guided action to take, allow these ideas to come fruition. Wow. Oops. <clears throat> So these are the cards. Look at us. Three purple cards. Three divine cards. I'm on a divine journey right now. I'm on a journey from God, you know, and bottom of the deck we got moonlighting. Yeah. I've been trying to go fix my trailer whenever I'm not doing cards or whenever I'm not doing videos or whatever. Like I'm I'm going to, trying to go to fix my trailer, but I need help. Like I need literally cutting help or need a saw or need you know you can start working on your dreams career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills well I don't have a job per se I just do humanitarian work right now and that's what my channel is so it's not I, I get a donation here and there but I don't really get like a lot of like donations or anything like that but I'm doing it for free and then when people are guided, they do donate. So, And for a lot of you guys that are on here today, you've all donated in the past. So I thank you for that. Soon your dreams will take flight and fully support you. And that's what I'm hoping to get off of ODSP. As soon as I, my channel get, you know, gets to be a thousand and subscribers. And that way I can start getting like other things that YouTube allows you to get like uh uh, what do you call it? Super chat and all that stuff. Um, and then I'll be able to like, you know, really go traveling. You know, I, I'm kind of stuck in one place until I get my channel where I want it. So I don't, I can go on live when I'm anywhere right now. I can go only go live when I'm at home. You know, it kind of keeps me stuck in sometimes stuck in. But yeah, those really are beautiful messages, Zoe. Thank you for coming onto my channel and helping me today. Stop. Stop. Anyways, is there anybody else that wanted a card? 
Captain Jack, are you here still? Captain Jack. <laughs> or Peter Jackson, are you still here? Don't get your panties in a bunch. If you're Gemini, you won't take that so serious. And I don't know why you said laughing. Nobody was laughing. Nobody was laughing at you. All right. Now everything is about you. It's my channel, dude. <sighs> oh, I don't talk to people personally. I'm sorry. I don't. Unless you want a reading, I don't. I don't have time for that. Like that's my energy. You understand? Like that's me having to be on the phone and not getting done what I need to get done. And unless you want a reading. I can't do that. Just chat with everybody like that. If you want to chat with me, that's in here. And if you ever want to come on panel, I do go on live stream with uh, with uh, StreamYard. When I go on live with StreamYard, then you can also come on a panel if you'd like. Oh, happy birthday, Peter. All right. So no offense or anything like that. I just don't have like personal conversations with people like other than on here. Hi, B Hi, Bubba's 804. Hey, Les. My name is Cass, not Les. I <laughs> Why are you calling me Les? I'm just kidding. It's probably a typo, right? <laughs> All right. Anybody else want a message? Peter, you want a message? You can. Last call. Let's call for messages. Stop. Stop. My dog wants me to take her outside, so I'm going to take my doggy outside after I get my bathing suit on. I'm going to go sit outside for a bit on my chair. It's okay. I get typos all the time. Like, I get typos all the time. I am feeling a little bit less today. Don't worry. You did read my energy. <laughs> I feel like my my love tank needed to be filled up a little bit today, and I came on here and did some angel messages today. Stop. Can you wait a minute? Can you? Can you wait a minute? Want to say hi? Come. All right. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi. I'm a bug. Oh, there she is back again. <laughs> she wants me to take her out. And even if she doesn't need to be going out, she just still does this kind of stuff. And thank you so much. God bless you all for hitting the like button. Too. You guys are so amazing. Thank you. And I didn't even have to say anything. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. I'm not going to waste any more time or your time or anything like that. Um, you have a great two, day too, Zoe, and Bubba's, would you like a message before I go? I have my, my angel, my archangel cards out. If you need a message today, I can pull your message. If not, I'm going to get out of here. Let me know. I'm going to go get, I'm getting hot in my house coat. It's warm today, so I'm going to get my... I got to get my um, my bathing suit on. All right. Uh, I'll just wait a second for your response. If you don't respond, then I'm going to get out of here. I'll pick that as you don't need one. Go back up. Go sit by the door. I'll take you out. And I don't think I missed anybody in here. I think I said hi to everybody. Hi, Teddy. You want Kitty one? Come say hi. Oh, you want one, Peter Jackson? Would you like a message? Okay. Kitty, come say hi. No, stop. Kitty, where am I today? Might as well let other Kitty come say hi. Come say hi. Come say hi. Hi, everybody. 
Hi, everybody. All right, you can go back in the way. All right. I'm going to pull a message for Peter, and then I'm going to get out of here. All right. Message for Peter. God, you know where spirit guides over high is good. Overcoming difficulties, Peter. The worst is behind is now behind you. And you are surmounting any previous challenges in your life. Like you're healing anything that is like that is not making you feel right in your life. Um, and you've come overcome your challenges in your life. Your difficult challenges. Just know that, okay? It says indigo and crystal children. Archangel Metatroid, you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. Yes, Geminis are very good at that. And it says sensitivity. Archangel Haniel, you're extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings, all right? All right, Mr. Gemini Peter, that's what I got for you. All right, God bless everybody. All right, bye now.